Okay guys, quick video here just updating my Aussie Yen trade. So we bring up the I've got the alley I was just seeing sort of how it and it ended for the day. And it's uh you know we had a little bit of a bounce uh consolidated and then sold again. So we'll see what happens leading into uh next week. Stops up here. So it's you know it's more of a swing trade type thing, it's a trend continuation. Little no, that's nice. That's that's not a bad little little candle there. So and um, Mad Forex Trade made the comment about the space to the left, and that's what I do like. So we'll see though, because um, it's not you know really clean on the daily. I mean the four hours not too bad. Let's wait for it to load if it is. Yeah. So it's at an interesting point right now. Um, we'll see if it wants to bounce again or if the selling continues. Um, from a fundamental perspective, I didn't enter for the fundamental, so I, you know, I could just go on about some certain events going on with um, with China and the trade talks and Donald Trump and everything like that. But it'd be sort of inappropriate because this didn't really trigger that. It was more the fact that that's what the chart was looking like, and especially that candle there is pretty good. So it is reflecting a, a slight loss, but it's pretty much a break even when it closed at. Um, at 12, but obviously the spread widened out to about 20 pips. So interesting. And we'll see what happens. Um, I'll try and try. I did a restart and an update, so we might be getting yes, yeah, lag anymore. This is not really much here. The NFP data came out obviously last night my time. It wasn't too bad. So there was chatter that was um, going to be pretty bad, but it wasn't terrible. And the Aussie dollars come back down again. Let's see what the USD and what the yen is looking like against the US dollar. I don't think it's stronger, but it's not weaker. It's just sort of uneventful. <clears throat> there it is. Okay. And then I'll be doing some back testing, uh, some some close of the gap strategy that I'll be working on. So I'll keep everyone posted on how that goes as well. And I'm not sure what uh, pair I'll be doing. I'll be on the four hourly. You know, I like to. I would like to keep working on the hourly entries. You know, so I look at the four hour, then an hourly price action to dictate um, when I get into the trade. Yeah, so the ends, yeah, against US dollars, not particularly exciting. So I just want to see what the pound's doing as well. Contemplating doing a. So it's been about three years since I started Forex, like learning. And I would was kind of playing doing a video today, so if I have time, I'm going to put together. I don't know how long it will go for. Um, I'll try and make it under 20 minutes, but just presenting a few key points on what I've learned and just sharing some information about probably what doesn't work <laughs> the best, you know, from my perspective. Um, so yeah, that that that's in the pipeline for this weekend, to today or definitely tomorrow. So. And pounds sort of to its own, so yeah. okay, so that's about it, guys. It's not a whole lot of yen, that's what it's done, so that's the trade. That's about it. So, anyway, that's uh, end of week update. Thanks for watching, guys, and bye for now. Tomorrow, also, will be a watch list uh, for tomorrow, so I won't do it today, but I will try and do the sort of three year forex journey and an update on that as well. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now.